if you ever had a DS, chances are you played Nintendogs. It was a game that gave you a virtual dog to love, care for, and play with. Now, Little Friends Dogs and Cats is bringing the same idea to the Switch. And to help me play it, I've brought along my own little friend. Come on, up you get. Good boy, come here. Good boy. Okay, now which controller do you want? That one? Okay, this one's yours. Let's play. All right. Welcome to the world of little friends. I love that there's so many friends waiting to meet me. Which friend do you want to pick, Boats? Which is your friend, do you reckon? Okay, there's a toy poodle who is active and lively, very friendly, and loves feeling pretty. You love feeling pretty too, don't you? Then we've also got a chihuahua. I am personally not a fan of small dogs, but he is also an active and lively boy. Then there is the Labrador Retriever. He's a healthy and energetic boy. Love a good healthy boy. Very friendly and always happy. That is definitely going to be the one I pick. But I can actually also cycle through the groups and see what other puppies they have on offer. Got a Sheba in the middle, got a French Bulldog. <laughs> Look at that little Chihuahua on the end. I wonder if they have any Border Collies. Do you want this friend to start living together with you? Yes, I do. I'm gonna name it Boatmeal after Boatmeal, even though he is not a Labrador. This is the home where you'll live together with Boatmeal. <laughs> Look at that little snout. They're pretty quiet, aren't they? Maybe they feel a little anxious. Oh, puppy, pet Boatmeal and put them at ease. <laughs> so I pet them with the Joy-Con, which is pretty cool. It's petting time. You love pets, don't you, Boatmeal? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the calibration, Boatmeal doesn't seem to like this game. The calibration seems a little bit off. I'm having to move my arm very far to get to this dog, but you know, it's worth it for a good chin scratch. <laughs> Boatmeal's like, what are you doing? How dare you pet another dog? Level up! When you provide a friend with care or play with them, your friendship level will go up. So we've got to get the maximum number of hearts in a day. But they still look a bit anxious, so we're going to give them some more love. So there's a little bit of vibration in the Joy-Con to let you know when you're petting the spot that they like because every puppy has a different spot that they like to get pet. And for this one, it seems to be its eye. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love a good eye scratch? <laughs> oh, it looks like Boatmeal is feeling a bit more secure now. Good puppy. You can use the icons in the lower left of the screen to check your friend's current status. If they ever seem like they're not doing so good, give them care that suits their needs. I kind of like that it's teaching you how to listen to the needs of another thing and give them that, like pay attention to that. We heard you have a new friend now, so we got this as a present for Boatmeal. Who has this come from? Give them this and the affection, oh, mum and dad, that they deserve, okay? Love, mum and dad, lovely. Throw toys now available to play. Food shop is open, I can get you food. Food selection, got some crunchy chicken dog food. I love how it animates it right in front of you. Feed. There you go, pup. Okay, so the indicators of what they need are in the bottom left. And if it's green, it's full and they're happy. If it's yellow, it seems like they need some care. And I assume it goes empty or red if they uh, are really in need of some love. Does he need water? Yes. Have some water. I feel like the loading screens between all of these things is kind of unnecessary, <laughs> but okay. Let's go out, let's go for a walk. Ooh, there's actually like a walking mini game. Okay, so you tilt the Joy-Con to control direction. Work with a friend to try and achieve your goals together. Begin friend walk. Walking my puppy. So the Joy-Con calibration on this seems to be quite a bit better than it was on the petting. Let's run! Dash, dash, dash. Oh, there's balloons. What do the balloons do? It's a birthday. Misbehavior. What? So we're not allowed to get the balloons? I don't understand. Oh, he's doing a piddle. <laughs> oh, I got a marking point. 
Oh, he's gonna sneef. He's saying hello to that dog. That statue of a dog. Very cute. And he's leveled up. Actually, he wasn't saying hello. I don't know what he was doing. The real question is, am I walking this dog or is he walking me? Are you gonna dig? Oh! Okay, I was just missing them the other times. Ooh, that is a lot of puppy points. So I was supposed to stop at the balloons and dig to get all of my search points, but I missed most of them. But I think I still have a uh, hundred more meters of walking to go, so hopefully I can find some more. Yeah, here we go, there's some more balloons. Up the path, puppy. Misbehavior, what was it? So the game didn't explain to me the misbehavior mechanic. I don't know what my puppy is doing that's misbehaving and I don't know what to do about it. Oh, I see. He's dashing without my say so. And so I give him some love and discipline to make sure that he behaves well and grows up to be a very good obedient boy like Boatmeal. When you've got a puppy, it needs a lot of training and it will just kind of do whatever it wants to do. Uh, and that is what is happening with my virtual puppy right now. He's kind of just doing whatever he wants to do and I'm doing my best to uh, teach him what's good behavior. Like digging balloons. Come on, pup. Dig, 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 dig. I gotta say though, I don't think this is as fun as walking my dog in real life. I feel like I'm just walking up to all of these different markers and that's it. <laughs> but good thing is I got the last search spot to uh, fill my goal. Finish the friend walk and go back home. Yes. Friend walk over. Ooh, their fur is a little disheveled. Care type and clean and brush them clean. Boatmill learned a new trick called sit that I did not even teach him. Clever boy. All right. Care, we're gonna give you a bit of a brush. So I've hit brush and now my hands have turned into brushes. Brush, brush. And again, he seems to really like it when I brush his face. Just particularly on the eyes. <laughs> some quality time too, baby. Yes. Mwah. You get brushed all the time. It's this boat mill's turn. In the face. <laughs> now, one of the most enjoyable parts of having a puppy is getting to buy toys for it. So we're gonna go toy shopping. In order to purchase items from a shop, you'll need friend points or tickets. Let's see what we've got in balls and bones. One star simple ball, doesn't bounce too much. Flower ball, faint floral scent. That's interesting. So we've got sound balls, a bone. I know Boatmill quite likes sound toys, so I'm gonna go with a one star sound ball. Yes. Bye. Get ready, throw. Go get it. <gasps> Puppy. Good boy. Eh. <laughs> I don't have a very good throw. It's not going very far, but thankfully, Boatmill is still a tiny puppy and he likes it. And he leveled up. I have a very sparse apartment with no couch. <laughs> this is the perfect apartment to have a dog in because there's nothing in here. It's just floor and a television. Flying disc is now available for play. Oh, that sounds great. I think we can go out and play with the flying disc. Let's do it. Eh. Run, oh, good catch, boat meal. 5.35 meters, not that far, but good catch. Eh. Terrible catch, didn't even get it. Hit it to the ground. So the Joy-Con calibration still seems a little bit funny and it's not quite throwing where I want it to, but thankfully the puppy can still just go catch it. Chase, chase, chase. That was a pretty good one. 
a pretty good one, puppy. Praise. Well, that was our quick look at little friends, dogs and cats. The first thing that I noticed was that the graphics aren't that great. It's not that far removed from what Nintendogs was several years ago. The animations are a little better, but it doesn't look amazing, which is a bit of a shame because you're trying to feel like you have a real life pup with you. The controls were also a little bit shonky. Um, I had some trouble with the calibration of it and the throwing wasn't that exciting, but I do think that they have something there with teaching you kind of responsible pet ownership, and that's really cool. And obviously this is a bit of a slow burn. It's something that you're gonna get more and more into as you collect more friends and teach them more things and they grow up especially when you eventually unlock cats too. And I think that's something that will be pretty cool seeing your little puppy grow up into a big boy. You're a big boy, aren't you, Boatmeal? It'll be interesting to see if there are any better mini games down the line because what we saw here was pretty much like Nintendogs, which again is a fairly old game. So hopefully they do bring more to the table. But if you've got a hankering for a pet simulator, this could be quite a bit of fun. Although I gotta say, it doesn't compare to the real thing. Does it, puppy? Can I have a kiss? No, thank you. Mwah.